All right guys, this is J-O-A-T-D coming back with a new video. Here in front of you is a new tool that I purchased off of Facebook Marketplace. This right here is a Delta Boss Bench Oscillating Spindle Sander. That is what the Boss stands for, Bench Oscillating Spindle Sander. All right guys, so if anybody purchases one of these particular sanders, and when you turn it on, it's not oscillating. It's not actually going up and down. All it's doing is spinning. If you take it and flip it upside down, Flip it upside down like this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in closer. All right, what you got to do is get you a Phillips head uh, screwdriver. Take out this screw. Try not to cover it up. Take out the one screw, and then it's one back here also. Take this off. Okay. I'm just taking this cover off. That's all it is. The cover is to stop uh, dust and anything else from getting in here where this gear is right here. Okay. Now, this gear, this plastic gear right here, if it's not oscillating up and down, this gear is stripped. See these ridges in it? It would be just smooth or just, you know, worn down to the point that it can't grab these teeth over here. Okay. Um, obviously, the best way to fix that is to take the plastic a loose from the table first. Um, one, two, three, four. There are four screws down in here. Let's see. That screw right there, the one right there, and it's one right there, and one right back there. If you take those four screws out, this this plastic will come from the it'll come loose from the motor and the um, actual table. Okay, once you get that off, you have room to work with getting this out of here has a couple clips right here one right here and then it's one on the other side you have to get those clips off first um, but once you get this part loose you can just this right here you can just knock this out you just hit it from the side here and knock it all the way out take this out put the new one back on make sure that you take something and put a little scratch mark well, technically, well, I will put a little scratch mark here just to make sure you know when you put the new one back on where it stops at. Um, you have this Allen head key here. It may be a hole in this rod here, but if it's not, you're going to have to scratch a mark right here to know how far this is supposed to go over. Okay. And then you just put everything back together, put the plastic back on. That's it. I know I make it sound like it's easy, um, but if you take your time with it, you'll understand. It's not a whole bunch in there to take apart to to get this out. Okay, but like I said, if the um, if it's not oscillating up and down, this right here is stripped. Um, if you check in the descriptions, I will have a link to where you can purchase this and I will also have a link where you can 3D print this. Now, the person that I got the file from online said if you print it at 100%, 
it's too big. So you have to print it at 95. You gotta scale it down to 95. If you scale it down to 95, it should uh, it should fit perfectly when you print it, okay? Um, I don't have a 3D printer. I'm just kind of telling you exactly what they told me. So you can print one at 100, put it in, see that it doesn't work. Print one at 95, put it in. If it's still too big or if it's too small, just come up a little bit more and print another one. I know it's a lot of filament to use, but I mean, it's probably cheaper than purchasing this. But um, like I said, I will have both of those in the descriptions. All right. So um, this is JOATD. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, if this helped you out in any in any way, please consider donating. Um, it helps me, um, you know, with getting new tools and things like that to fix specific um, problems. Um, and if you just want to just purchase me like an icy, it's three bucks, QT, I love them. All right. So thank you. And, um, I'll be back with another one.